All right, guys, did you know that there are communities around the world where the average life expectancy is way higher than average? These communities, known as Blue Zones, have the highest concentration of people living to over 100 years old. And it's not just because of genetics. Today, we're going to dive into the Blue Zones and uncover their secrets for longevity. Hint, we can all apply these principles to our own lives. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and let's go. What are Blue Zones? In the early 2000s, a team of researchers studied longevity in a region of Sardinia, Italy. This is where Dan Butner, one of the researchers, first coined the term Blue Zone to identify areas where people live statistically longer lives. After Sardinia, he identified four other Blue Zones throughout the world. Dan is a jack of all trades, a researcher, explorer, and New York Times best-selling author. Oh, and he also holds three Guinness World Records for endurance cycling. Dan is a hot commodity, with everyone from Oprah to Dr Oz wanting primetime interviews with him. He delivered a TED Talk titled How to Live to Be 100 Plus, which gained millions of views. One thing is clear, this adventurer has certainly led an interesting life and would probably be an excellent dinner party guest after licensing the term Blue Zone to identify Sardinia, he created the Blue Zone Certification, which identifies the criteria and common traits of these regions. The goal is to figure out what makes the Blue Zones so unique, why people who live in them live longer, happier lives, and then take those unique characteristics and expand them to the general population by creating new Blue Zones. So, why is all of this such a big deal? Well, the main reason is because the average life expectancy in the United States is currently 77 years old. Worldwide, the average life expectancy is 72 years old, but in the Blue Zones, people are consistently living to over 100 years old. A centenarian is someone who is over 100 years old, and the Blue Zones are chock full of them. Furthermore, a super centenarian is someone who is over 110 years old, and the Blue Zones have more of these than anywhere else. So what gives? How is this possible? Well, let's visit these regions and find out. Where are the five Blue Zones? Number one, Sardinia. The first Blue Zone, as mentioned, is the Mediterranean island of Sardinia, off the coast of Italy. Here, you'll find 10 times more centenarians per thousand people than in the United States. Okay, what's their secret? Well, Sardinians live simple, traditional lives, marked with good fresh food, strong family ties, and a sense of community. Many people here still hunt and gather, whether it's fishing or growing their own food. People eat significantly less meat than other countries around the world. Meat is usually consumed only on special occasions and Sundays. The rest of the time, the main diet is made up of whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and pecorino cheese, which is abundant in omega-3 fatty acids. Grandparents are celebrated in this culture and are often living with their children or grandchildren. Walking is the main form of exercise, which offers great cardiovascular benefits without any harsh impacts on bones or joints. Our favourite part of this culture is that they drink red wine every day, in moderation. Also interesting is that the men in this culture are known for their sense of humour, and they often meet in the street for laughter and poking fun. Um, let's move here. This place sounds fantastic. Finally, goat milk is the main milk here, as opposed to cow's milk, and it has strong anti-inflammatory properties. OK, so even if you're not a fan of goat milk, I think we can all agree on daily wine and laughter. Number two, Acaria, Greece. Our next blue zone is Acaria, Greece, a tiny island in the Aegean Sea. Unique to Acaria is that the region has almost no cases of dementia and very few chronic diseases. The culture and lifestyle in Acaria contributes to healthy living. Here, people aren't trying to live healthy lives, they just are. Healthy living is a way of life here. Due to the warm temperatures, many people exercise regularly, but they aren't driving to a gym. Acarians garden regularly, visit their neighbours and take long walks. Similarly to Sardinia, meat is consumed less frequently, with the main diet being whole grains, fish, legumes and vegetables. 
goat's milk is consumed rather than cow's milk. Acarians typically cook with olive oil, which contains healthy fats that lower cholesterol. Herbal teas are also popular. Our favourite part of Acarian life? Naps. This community is known to take afternoon naps, which lowers stress and reduces heart disease by 35%. OK, napping is something we can all get on board with. Number 3. Okinawa, Japan. Okinawa, Japan is our next blue zone. Okinawa is a region of islands off the coast of Japan and is known for its subtropical climate, lush foliage and clear skies. Women in this region live longer than anywhere else in the world. Their fountain of youth may be their extremely strong family and community ties, known as moai, and their strong sense of purpose in life, called ikigai. Okinawans maintain clear roles and responsibilities for their entire lives, resulting in their elderly feeling needed and valued. They eat plant-based diets, again with the reduced meat, high in vegetables and sweet potatoes. Soy is a staple, found in tofu and miso soup. The properties found in tofu are known to protect against heart disease and breast cancer. They also eat fermented soy-based foods, which promotes a healthy gut microbiome. Their main source of exercising is gardening, which almost all centenarians do, or used to do. The motions involved in gardening involve gentle muscle use and flexibility, and also provides plenty of fresh vegetables for mealtimes. Number four, Nicoya, Costa Rica. The fourth blue zone is Nicoya, Costa Rica. Nicoya is a peninsula in Costa Rica, just south of Nicaragua. Nicoyans are famous for their plan de vida, which means reason to live. Similar to the Okinawans, this community celebrates their elders and they have clear roles and responsibilities up into their old age. A unique staple to the Nicoyan diet is hard water, which has a very high calcium content. This contributes to less heart disease and bone fractures among the elderly. You won't find many nursing homes in this region. Here, the elderly live with their children or grandchildren where they belong. They eat light meals, with the lightest being dinner. Squash, beans and corn are the most popular food staples, with meat making up only 5% of their diets on average. Work and chores are celebrated in this culture, from housework to gardening and farming. They spend a lot of time outdoors where they get vitamin D from the sun. It seems like in this culture, it's the simple things in life that matter. Number five, Linda, California. Finally, we're heading to Loma Linda, California, the fifth original blue zone. This area of California contains a pocket of around 9,000 Seventh-day Adventists who live at least 10 years longer than the average American. The traditions of the Adventist religion have contributed to the health of this community. One day a week on the Sabbath, they take a break from all work and enjoy time with family and in prayer. This is a stress-reducing break and very valued in the community. Again, we find another community with relatively low meat consumption. This community has a lower BMI than most Americans, and they eat smaller meals. They tend to snack on nuts throughout the day, which are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Breakfast is their largest meal, then lunch, followed by the smallest meal of the day, dinner. For most Americans, the exact opposite is true. In this community, they enjoy spending time with like-minded friends, namely other Seventh-day Adventists. The church encourages volunteerism, which allows them to give back and keep a sense of purpose, even into their older years. All right, so you've probably noticed some trends in each of these cultures. Next up, we'll uncover the secrets that they all have in common. The Power Nine. Though these communities are nowhere near each other geographically, all of them share certain lifestyles that contribute to their residents' long and healthy lives. Called the Power Nine, here are the traits that all Blue Zones have in common. Number one, move naturally. In these cultures, light and gentle exercise is built into their lifestyle. Walking to visit neighbours, tending to gardens and housework without all the conveniences of modern appliances allows these societies to maintain gentle movement throughout the day. They aren't running marathons, they aren't heavy lifters and they certainly aren't driving to the gym every day. Number two, purpose. In Japan, it's called Ikigai, and in Costa Rica, it's called Plan de Vida. 
Having a sense of purpose has been proven to increase life expectancy by up to seven years. That purpose may be volunteerism, like with the Seventh-day Adventists, or helping to care for grandchildren or the community. But either way, the oldest members of these communities still wake up every day with a clear sense of purpose. Number three, downshift. Blue Zone folks are experts in stress relief. Stress is associated with countless chronic diseases. Every culture in the Blue Zone has their own method of built-in stress relief. Whether it's happy hours for the Sardinians, prayer for the Adventists, or naps for the Akarians. Number four, 80% rule. Stop eating when you are 80% full. A hallmark trait in Blue Zones is that they don't stuff their faces. Farewell Wendy's triple burger, McDonald's double quarter pounder with cheese meal, and big gulps. Number five, plant slant. Plant-based diets are key. Meat is saved for special occasions, and beans are one of the primary sources of protein. Number six, wine at five. This is by far the best of the power nine. Each of the Blue Zone cultures tend to enjoy regular but moderate wine consumption with friends. Number seven, belong. The vast majority of centenarians in the Blue Zones are active in a faith-based community. The specific religion doesn't matter. Number eight, loved ones first. Divorce is rare, as are nursing homes. These cultures value family above all else, and it's common to see the oldest members of the family living with children and actively involved in raising grandchildren. Number nine, right tribe. Okinawans famously refer to this as moais, typically a group of five friends who commit to each other for life. These social networks keep people connected, allowing for a sense of purpose, laughter and community. So we know the original five Blue Zone communities and the Power Nine. The goal moving forward is to increase the number of Blue Zones throughout the world. Current Blue Zone project communities include Beach Cities, California, Albert Lee, Minnesota, Spencer, Iowa and Fort Worth, Texas. These communities are all aggressively pursuing changes that will lead to healthier living, such as expanded park systems, improved street designs that allow for walking and cycling, and more social involvement. New communities are regularly applying for grants to help them become Blue Zones. While you're waiting for your town to go blue, there are definite, simple steps you can take to increase your life expectancy. So go buy some red wine, walk over to a friend's, or get to work on that sad looking garden in your yard. If you had to pick one of the Power Nine, which would you pick? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please check out these other videos from our channel.